previously on Manila's P. So the shoe that I got is from Max Rice. This is the color that I got, guys. It's beautiful. Take a look. It's black and some gold accents. So it's really nice. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Manila Speed. And in today's episode, we are going to be trying out, testing our Max Rise T1 bowling shoes. Yep, that's right. So if you haven't watched the previous episode, I'll add a link somewhere here. Uh, but please go watch that. That was the unboxing and first impression video of uh, our new Max Rise T1 bowling shoes that are that that's made in Korea. So it's a Korean made uh, bowling shoe, um, and so far it's been great. All right. So for today's episode, what we are going to be doing is we'll be going to Eastwood City Lanes, Paeng's Bowling and Billiard Center, for us to test these guys. All right. Well, they're in the shoe bag. But yeah, we're going to be testing the bowling shoes. All right. Uh, it's going to be a two-day series. So I was able to test the bowling shoes. Um for two days and I'll cut into the middle portion before we proceed to the second day to give you guys some some commentaries about what happened and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna be testing the bowling shoes. I hope you guys like uh, this video. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. By the way, we have 248 subscribers. Woohoo! And um, it's just really been great. And, um, you know, the, um, the support I'm getting from the bowling community has been great as well. Uh, we're just starting out. We're, you know, not well known. But so far, you know, those that have watched the video do appreciate the effort of us uh, sharing our passion and sharing our journey, sharing, you know, our experiences in playing and buying, you know, bowling shoes, bowling balls, um, getting the balls drilled. Uh, so far, you know, we'll continue to do that. I think that's been a, a good help for those that are thinking of uh, either going to play this sport or going back, such as, you know, uh, what's ha what I'm doing now, but then, you know, basically going back into the sport of bowling. Anyway, enough of me talking. Let's proceed to the bowling lanes. So that's the first day of us testing out these bad boys here. Um, so some initial thoughts about it. The shoes need needed to be broken in. Um, not the upper. The upper itself, it's very uh, flexible. And um, the only um, feedback that I had was I think I could have gotten a size 
half size lower. I could have gone down a half size lower. This is a size 10. Um, yep, I have big feet. Uh, so let's get that out of the way. Um, and what happens is I, I had very thin socks um, on that playing, on that practice session. Uh, so what happens is a sock would go down and I don't like that feeling. So I kept, you know, uh, pulling the sock up. I would um, check if the laces were really tight and really tighten it again. So I had to do that several times. Um, now with the sliders, so I thought I understood the instructions clearly. Apparently I did not. So um, so because this these needed to be broken in, uh, what I started was with this as my heel and then this as the uh, slider. And I wasn't sliding, guys. So that was my main issue. So what I did was I changed the heel to this. And then I changed the he the slider to the red one. Because I thought that the red one would give me the best slide. Like it has the um, the longest slide out of the three that we have here. Apparently I'm wrong. So the red one would be the slider with the least slide. And I paired that with this. So I was kind of sliding, but not enough. If you see, if you notice on the video. So that was my initial impression of the shoe. It, ne it still needed to be broken in, in terms of the slider itself and then the heel um, for the braking. Uh, but so far, I was really happy with the shoe uh, because this, it's, this is very wide. You see that the slider itself is really flat and really wide. So that it gives that stability that I was looking for because if, if you're wearing uh, house shoes, you'll notice it's very thin. So uh, when you're sliding, sometimes it's not as stable and you might trip and whatnot. But with this one, if you notice, it's as, as wide as my hand, right? So um, that's one big plus point. Okay, so that's the first day. Um, we'll proceed to basically earlier today where I had another practice session and I had better results. And let's go check out that video right now.
right, so that was day two um, of our practice with the Max Rise T1s, and I really am happy. I'm ecstatic um, and you know very pleased with this purchase. It took a while to get these shoes, but it's very much worth it. Um, so let's go through some of the pros and cons that I've seen from wearing these shoes. Uh, for pros, number one, it looks really good. Um, so it doesn't look like a bowling shoe, number one, right? So if you know if I wear it outside, um, people won't notice that it's a bowling shoe. But of course we won't do that. But on the bowling lanes, it looks good. It's easy. It's very easy to pair this with jeans or um, uh, dress pants uh, and even joggers. So on, on my first practice session, I was wearing jogger pants and um, earlier I was wearing jeans and it looks really well. And um, for me, I look at aesthetics too. Um, and I like the fact that it, you know, it's really a nice looking bowling shoe, right? Um, it's very comfortable. The upper itself, it's very flexible. So very minimal break-in period for the upper. Uh, I like how it's very breathable, but maybe not as breathable as some of my other shoes. So um, if you're someone that sweats or your, your feet sweats a lot, um, you know, expect that. You know it's not gonna be as breathable as what you may be expecting but it's fine it's a good trade-off um, let's take a look at this so this is the toe cap which basically protects this part of your shoe and if you notice after two days it, it's already showing some uh, damage or battle scars here but it's actually doing what it's supposed to do so when I'm sliding this part here is the one that's hitting um, the lanes. I'll show you guys uh, maybe a video here. Um, insert that. But yeah, so it's doing its job. I think one con for this is this is not replaceable, or maybe I just don't know if it's replaceable, but, but it's not interchangeable. So I, what I'm thinking of is this is the first thing that will give up in terms of this bowling shoe. And the reason you may be needing to buy a new one is because this might be like um this it will be the first thing in your shoe that will you know really not look nice maybe eat up uh, a big chunk of the toe cap here uh because you know you're gonna be really using that um to control your 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 balance and what um when you um you know when you're on your final approach now with the slider, um, it's it has really done its job. And what I like about this is it's not, you know, at first I was afraid that the sliders would slide off essentially because it's just velcroed into the shoe. But it was holding itself, um, holding its own, even with me playing uh, about I played five games yesterday and then another four games so total of nine games um and you know the heel has some um you know you can see the slide here and then for the slider it's uh, holding off holding on really good so um i think it's doing its job um i'll after maybe six months or three months of wearing this i'll give you know my thoughts and insights on the long-term use of the shoe but so far after you know the two days that i've been using this i'm really really happy um and then i like that the pack the the shoe came with this like this is the cover for the um the slider foot like so it will look like this let me just try to wear it that yeah there you go so this is what it looked like so i like the fact that the you know it came with this so when i had to walk around and then buy something uh this came in handy so i did not have to remove the shoe all right now um some cons additional cons from 
Um, what I've noticed is, well, I was hoping that one, the push off foot would have a cover like this too. I think that would have been better. And then it would have been better for me, at least, this is my opinion, if it came with optional laces, like an all black lace, I think would uh, look good on the shoe or maybe an all gold um, lace if you want uh, for the shoe to pop um, and, you know, stand out because uh, it has gold accents here so if you know the shoelace was gold i think it will work but yeah um another con would be me it would have been good if the instructions or what was in the box on the box um like the description for the slider and the heel came in english um so i had to learn the hard way that how i understood it was reverse but these are the small things, right? Um, and I'm just nitpicking at this point. I'm really happy with the shoe, guys. Don't get me wrong. Um, just, you know, looking at, you know, what are the possible pros and cons of um, the shoe itself. Um, yeah, I think, you know, that's it. Um, uh, I'm really happy with the performance of the shoe, guys. Um, I can't... If you're looking for... A bowling shoe and you're on a budget of around uh, 4,000 to 5,000 pesos um, because if you go to pro shops um, there are local shoes that are around 1,100 to 1,500 um, but you won't get like this option where you have a push off foot that has um, rubber uh, outsole and then the interchangeable um, sliders and heel so you won't get that for the 1100 peso option and also with the 4000 to 5000 peso option options in the pro shops you won't get this the only way for us to get this was to buy online i guess the other con would be there are no local um, retailers for this brand you have to buy it from shopee and um, you have to be patient and I waited for um, about a month and a half just to be able to receive the shoe right um, but I'm really happy don't get me wrong I'm, we're just nitpicking here and then you know just looking at what are the pros and cons of you know going for this shoe right um, I guess that's it um, again I'm really happy with the shoe thank you so much to Max Rice for um making this available for us bowlers here in the philippines um and you know well i'll continue to use this and give a long-term review after maybe three months uh expect another long-term review and you know uh i'll show you guys what what would be the extent of the damage on the toe cap and then how the upper and the sliders and the heel would um would look like after a couple of months of using it that's it um again thank you for those that have subscribed to the channel if you haven't already please like share and subscribe to the channel um and i will see you guys on the next video bye